Hey guys, my name is Jessica. I am from Green Fever SA. Before we start this video, I would like to ask if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. It does nothing other than help my channel grow and I really, really do appreciate it. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. Um, it means a lot to me. Okay, so I've just decided that today's video is going to be repot my favorite plant with me. So this is a beautiful alocasia rubra. I think it's an alocasia rubra. I did ask a few people sort of on Instagram. Um, that's actually my account with me and my sister. Um, but I did ask over there if everybody agreed that it was an alocasia rubra and everyone seemed to agree. Unfortunately, it did not come labeled. It was just an alocasia and I bought it from Checkers. But <laughs> it needs to be repotted. As you can see, it uh, very much needs to be repotted. So I'm going to give you a bit of the story while I try to take it out of the said net pot. As you can see, I have moved it into liquor. I'm going to put this down just to protect the table a little bit. So we found this beautiful alocasia rubra at Checkers. So I had seen it there for a few weeks and it wasn't really in good condition and it was reaching quite badly for the light. Uh, it didn't look very good and the time that I actually ended up buying it I noticed that it was absolutely covered in mealybugs from head to toe. Covered, covered, covered. What I then decided to do was chat to a manager and I just sort of said that I had seen it there you know, for a few weeks now and it hadn't been being sold and it wasn't really in good condition and then I pointed out the mealybugs and I said, look, you know, the mealybugs, if they haven't already, are going to infect the rest of your plants. So I said, you know, would you be happy to sell it to me at a bit of a discounted rate? It came with this pot as well. And yeah, they were happy to. Uh, they obviously know as well that it had been sitting there for a while and no one was interested. So they were more than happy to... Um, to do that and I scored a beautiful pot out of it as well and I even thought to myself I was like you know what if the alocasia does die let's say I got a nice pot out of it and the price that I paid I was happy to pay that sort of just for a pot so that's what I went with then we decided to unpot it because it was planted in this ceramic pot and I am an overwaterer and this is an alocasia so I was like there is no way I'm leaving that in there I sprayed it uh, with neem oil, I wiped everything that I possibly could off. The plant had four leaves when I had it, but three of them actually had gotten quite badly sunburned. So um, I ended up on the same day cutting the leaves off, converting it to lecker, well, unpotting it and converting it to lecker. And this is the last original leaf that I was left with, as you can see. He is uh, quite a bit smaller than my brand new leaf. As you can see, these beautiful, oh, this is gonna show it. These beautiful, like, burgundy backs. This plant is, like, huge. <laughs> these beautiful burgundy backs. It's a really beautiful plant, and I've had it for about uh, a month. And it is very happy. Very, very happy. It's even unfurling a new leaf, which. I didn't want to unpot it until this one had opened but I just decided it was actually it needed to be done and so I am doing it and it's such a happy plant that even if I do ruin a few of these roots I don't think it's going to really affect that leaf too much. I'm going to be putting it into this big pot so it is a ginormous upgrade from from this but I do feel like it's necessary and I made sure that this one is not a net pot like this one so that I don't have to deal with this issue again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop talking for a little bit while I dump all the lecker out. And then I'll carry on with my story afterwards if I remember where I left off. But the lecker makes quite a bit of noise so I'm going to skip through this. Let's just tip this into here. Okay, so that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I did break off a few roots, if you can see them hanging on the sides, but I really did want to try to save the net pot because I have another beautiful plant that 
will work perfectly with this one and obviously don't want to waste plastic I don't want to make unnecessary plastic purchases so we try to reuse as much as we can as you can see you know sort of broke off quite a few but majority of the root system is there uh, if you look closely there is a lot of uh, rotted roots so these would have been all the old soil roots <gasps> Look what I just found. Look at that. So this is a little bulb that I'll be able to grow a, another one of these out of. And when I unpotted this guy, we found three of these. And later on, I'm going to show you, I had planted one of these. It has now started to grow. My sister took the other two. So I'm really chuffed. Um, in a month, it's thrown me another one of these. So I'll go through this properly. And Jo, if you ever unpot your alocasias, you must seriously, seriously look out for these little bulbs. Because this is how you grow a new one. <laughs> so I'm very excited to have this guy. Uh, so yeah, back to what I was talking about. These are all the dead roots, which is completely normal. Uh, these are all the old soil roots that would have rotted off. And so I'm glad I have unpotted it so that we can take all of these off. And as you can see, there is no issue with the plant. This is all new, healthy water roots um, that has now grown in the liquor. So I'm going to just spend a little bit of time pulling off the dead roots um, because I don't even need to cut them off. They're literally just falling off. I just don't want to put them back inside the the pot because obviously, like this will this will encourage more root rot and decay, and so we don't want that sort of stuff. Uh, happening the reason why it is actually my favorite plant of the month is because i unpotted it i chopped all its leaves off and converted it to leka all on the same day not only did i do that but it was the day that i had bought it uh, so it came into a new environment as well and basically then what I did is I put it next to my TV unit, well, next to my couch, which you can see is behind me. If you look where the Norfolk Island pine is over there, I've actually got a small little table there and he lived there. So as much as I know I do have, if I move my head over there, I do have a Calathea, well, a Stramanthi Trio Star by my TV unit. Uh, but that has its own little humidifier right behind it. So that gets enough humidity because it's easy to keep the humidity around there. Well, this room is actually our lounge, dining room and kitchen. And so to keep the humidity high in here is like almost impossible. Not without keeping all the doors and windows and stuff closed. But we've got a whole length of stacking doors here and my boyfriend loves to have them open and so do I. So normally it's, yeah, it's normally about 30% in here. Um, so he hasn't been getting very high humidi humidity and he doesn't get that much light. So as much as he is next to the stacking doors over here, we do actually have a, a patio right outside there, which has obviously a roof and it is probably about four meters, five meters. So technically it is five meters back from a window, hence why I have a peace lily there and a trio star over there because they also, they don't mind lower light levels. So he does get good light. Like this room is always bright because of this, but it's not very close to the window. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go rinse the roots off and then I'm going to come back um, because I wanna make sure that all the dead roots are off and then I'm gonna pot him up. Okay, I am back. All of the dead roots and uh, bits have all been washed off. He is good to go. This is actually perfect for this, especially at the rate that this was growing. This has only been a month. So, so yeah. <laughs> going to basically pop him back in the lecker. I'm giving it a third of lecker first. Um, put in the roots in. So basically I have finished potting this guy up. I'm going to pop him in his new home, which is this. And he sort of just fits. And look how beautiful he looks in this. 
and then I'm going to give him some nutrient water. I give all of my plants either borehole water or rainwater, uh, which I collect. So this nutrient water would, was mixed with rainwater a few weeks ago, because I'm due for a, a flash day now. Basically, just gonna pour some over, check the water level just to make sure. I think this pot's a bit of a tight squeeze, but it's fine. Okay, so the water level is up to a third in there, so that's perfect. And he is done. My beautiful Alocasia rubra has made me the happiest person over the last month that I've owned it. Um, it just keeps on giving. We're gonna set him over here and let's see if I can get this guy in, in the frame. He's so huge, that's what I also love about him. Um, who, he, he's so easy to grow. Um, he doesn't ask much at all and he keeps giving me gorgeous new growth. So when I unpotted him about a month ago initially, this I don't know if you'll be able to see this was one of these which is now I'm gonna take some sphagnum moss I've just got it in uh, sphagnum moss and I have it sitting in a prop box and I hope you can see this little guy growing up here he's got a beautiful root system that's now developed and look at him growing. So a month ago, it was this. And a month later, it is now that. And before we know it, we're going to have another two of these. Plus the ones that my sister has. So I'm super chuffed at the moment. And very, very, very in love with this plant. I won't lie. What I'm going to do now is I'm also going to just pot up because I have a beautiful silver sword, a philodendron silver sword that I am going to be uh, now replacing in this pot with this net pot. So I took it out of soil about five, four or five days ago. I let it sit in this water for a little while. So what I'm just gonna quickly go do is go rinse this out and rinse this out. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing and pop him in here. Okay, so I have rinsed this and this and also rinsed the roots off this again. Um, I actually really struggled to get the soil off the roots the first time and now again the second time. So most of these are probably going to die off, but it's fine. The plant will hopefully survive. It should do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly throw this in here. because he doesn't have much of a root system I have placed it quite low down uh, the roots quite low down in the pot so it's almost like propagating in water still um, and then in a month's time or so I'll probably repot him again um, like I did with the rubra um, he'll probably stay in this but just to chop off some dead roots and that sort of stuff and I think what I might do if he starts growing some nice roots or maybe even beforehand I might put a spag bag over here because I don't really like the look of all of this. So potentially grow new roots over here as well as hopefully push out a new growth point from one of these nodes over here so we can maybe have a prettier looking plant. I'm just not too keen on this big wonky. Um, as much as it's got character, it's not the most appealing character. And he also has a beautiful new leaf about to pop up over there so hopefully i haven't destroyed the growth of that root too much but it's fine because it's worth it so we're going to pop him in his new little home and we're going to give him 
some nutrient water. And that is a wrap. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this Alocasia rubra as much as I've enjoyed owning it this past month. And if you're looking for a low maintenance plant that is really beautiful, that's always pushing out new growth, that doesn't ask for too much, and give you loads of babies, then definitely consider this Alocasia rubra. Honestly, love, 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 love this plant. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please uh, do subscribe if you haven't already or leave a like. If you have an Alocasia rubia, then please leave a comment below. Maybe let us know what your favorite easy houseplant is, especially considering that this is an Alocasia. Mind blown. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.